Welcome to Mojo's Institute of Technology. Um, welcome to free Ansible uh, workshop session. Today is uh, day 13. Um, agenda today we'll get into loop in Ansible. How we are going to implement our looping in Ansible. Uh, this is what uh, today's discussion topic is looping in Ansible. OK, so what are the things we are going to be discussed today? Um, looping within uh, using within the item how we are looping going to be executable how we are going to be implement within the dictionaries within sub elements with together with sequence with until okay like going to be end the end the looping going to be end it going to be execute uh, before getting to our lab hands on i like to give a small briefing about looping so what is looping so generally where we loop in we given a loop and until the condition is satisfied until the condition satisfied the loop going to be execute uh, this is this is general in the programming language if we want to in ansible what we are going to be to if we want to do some repetitive task in a time so there we are going to be implement this looping okay the looping includes uh, changing uh, where we are going to be exact the looping includes where we are going to be changed the ownership of the file permission files or directories uh, with a file module or creating a multiple files in a user uh, in a user module with a specific directory and then repeating repeating a pull set uh, until a certain uh, certain uh, goal we are going to be reached we are going to be use on loops OK, uh, this, is, this is what we are going to be implement uh, today and then we'll see the la uh, hands on with with, with items, so dictionary sub elements and then together and then uh, how the sequence is going to be run and this is um, this we'll get into today. OK, uh, I like to move to hands on. OK, I like to make bigger. I like to improve the font size. Change settings, appearance. I like to change the font style today. Yes. I hope now it has been visible. Clear. OK, first I like to explain the first loop concept which I have written. So looping, sorry, I have a looping playbook. OK, uh, this is my first uh, looping script. So what I did here, I'm going to configure a MOTD message uh, uh, message with some changes where has been some condition. So uh, in my Ansible fact, I have uh, taken this, uh, this, uh, this uh, Jinja variable as the Ansible machine, the fact where x uh, 60 x32 and x64 ansible gonna be rocks okay this is what I, i'm gonna be execute where you have an uh, multiple operating multiple um, uh, remote nodes you have then you can make i'm suggesting here make use of ansible underscore distribution you go for a distribution there you implement this then it will be more effective in my infrastructure i have only one remote node so that is the reason i'm picking and this this is to show in the more more effective an example so i'll come back to the um, playbook so what what i have done done here so i the host has been the target host has been defined here then task details configure a motd a message of the day copy the content see this is the content i have given so here the variable has been getting the fact variable has been declared here with with the curly base using the uh, like uh, we have the key pair value uh, using that one we have uh, taken out and the destination where it going to be is this destination slash etc slash motd here in the remote node here we are going to be paste this 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 content we are going to be replay the notification so you can use the notify motd has been changed earlier it was some changes some other message we have been uh, configured if you've gone through uh, our playbook video there, I have configured this one. You can compare the both the videos. 
OK. And the notification. The here the new new thing I have been introduced here handlers. The handler same I have uh, handlers where the, I have been used debug module as well. In debug module I passing a message MOTD was changed. OK, the handler uh, we have uh, I'm going to introduce the new section today in the, in this play. Handlers today we haven't implemented. OK, let me execute this script and get the output. So how the changes going to be happen here. So Ansible. iPhone playbook. So what are the play looping? Under play, let me enter. OK. So. My loop is successfully the play is running on my target node. OK, let us validate what the message has been given. My manage host has been on 92.168.1.104. Okay. See the Ansible. Has been rocks. The message has been displayed. OK. The first example we have uh, completed. I like to move. To my example two. OK, PI. Loop. Loop to. Okay. Moving to the loop to the same message I have been given given here. Uh, so what the changes I have made here noted till notify here I have passed within the item. So here the, this example I have changed within this item. The item should be uh, what the Ansible underscore mission is fat under x62. X, so generally what I suggest you have three four nodes use Ansible underscore distribution. Then it will be more effective because I have one node. My distribution has some problems, so I have taken example as an Ansible mission. It's a, a, a compatibility as a 34 and then 64, 32 and then 64. So I taken here the same message I have been configured. When when it needs to be changed the item. So within the item, what is the item denotes here? This is the declaration here I have done. Instead of this, you can give your host names and uh, for example, you may have the group center is one to the host name, then you can give. So you have what are the host name? For example, open to one two, you can give it will work. The same handlers I have been. So same debug model, the previous example, what we have seen the same. Message I have been given here. OK. So what what makes here difference here is I have uh, mentioned here within items. The item should be I declared as an item. So when it needs to be executed the Ansible machine. So you have a multiple hosts in a group there. You, you're going to be execute this performing this task only in a particular um, a particular. Host when when the particular where whereas in CentOS distribution that you can take the example as a distribution there you can see other only within the uh, group you have uh, five six servers also which server you're going to be point only in particular uh, server it going to be remote node going to be executed rest it will going to be skip if you mention within the items okay let me execute and show the output so i don't have other nodes to skip so i'm executing my script sensible iphone playbook okay see so i'm executing executed my script so gathering the facts here you would have, have the multiple uh, so you in your infrastructure you have a multiple hosts whereas in you have declared this item has been so my item x 32 into 64 this item going to be fixed because only one variable i can show so else it's going to be skip so other you can only target here yeah? within your group with the specific nodes you can make use of this within within uh, within this within the item you can make use of it here oh sorry so i'll, I'll from this forcefully i have interrupted this 
clear. I like to uh, again review this uh, lo loop to example vi. So uh, this case I have only one uh, host. Whereas in here you can mention the within the items. Okay. Here you can declare within the item that the rule is open the uh, square braces within the single quote. You can declare your item. Okay. This one is useful when you are within a group, you are targeting uh, a particular node, particular remote node, then it will be you can make use of this loop. I'm moving to the example three. So uh, here uh, the same. See, I already I have uh, said this. This is a script I, I'm going not going to be execute to make you understand more understanding. I written this script. So within the items, you have the host name called CentOS. Our Ubuntu. Uh, it's going to be so now. When the Ansible mission is equal to referring to where to your item. OK, item. What is the items I have? We have defined CentOS. This my in my infrastructure. This is not going to be executed, but I have shown you how to give a multiple hosts. OK, these are all the, the items has been multiple host details. If you want to give some um, group detail also, of course you can do it, but always recommended this this one. My my perspective, you give the host name within a group, you targeting a, a particular uh, distribution, for example, CentOS distribution or RHL distribution or Ubuntu distribution. Uh, you targeting some distribution, then this one will be going to be help. OK. Going to be execute the script, but the script is going to be fail because I don't have an CentOS or other nodes. Okay. iPhone play. So my play is correct, but my target nodes are not there. See. I it, see because it's skipping because I don't have an CentOS node or Ubuntu. The both hosts are not there. This is the reason it got. Sorry. Unfortunately, my. So unfortunately, my uh, internet, my position got terminated I'll, I'll be I'm back now okay so, sorry I'm apologies for that clear so we are discussing about sorry slash ansible I'm getting to the ansible directory We have discussed about VI loop three, right? Loop three. Yeah. So here uh, I don't have this both items, CentOS and then Ubuntu host. I don't have, but it's gonna be skip. Let us validate. Here. Ansible iPhone playbook three dot playbook. So I'm executed the third script. My script is correct, but I don't have an Ubuntu and CentOS. So that is the reason it got skipped. OK. Clear. OK, I'm moving to the example four. Okay. So here I have again configured the same uh, Ubuntu the items you can declare as in the MOTD message. Same MOTD message I have been configured here. So within items, how we are going to be declared the sample. 
okay so this when the ansible mission is equal to item it going to be refer where it going to be refer my items where the target mission has been sent to us and then ubuntu okay see here if if this item is satisfied it's going to be configure a message ansible rocks okay let me execute this script and see ansible iphone playbook loop for okay so again the same thing has happened so you can uh, um, it's going to be skip my uh, item as in centos are open to because my host names are not there as a centos okay so again so this how you can within the item you can declare iphone your host name okay where it going to be refer the items are going to be refer within the items so within this you can declare till the loop is satisfied it going to be executed okay. i'm moving to the another example okay here I, i'm going to create an user on my remote node so where i'm going to be create server so here the same within the item what i'm going to be create so it's referring the item creating a user username called test1 test2 test3 till until test3 okay i'm given a task in my remote node okay let me execute the script ansible iphone well, playbook loop file execute the script so i'm expecting that in my remote node it needs to be create and three users okay then got executed clear so let me validate as a such my remote node as in 192.168.1.104 okay cat slash etc slash pass wd file where the users has been user details has been there in the c my user three user names has been created successfully okay Here. Now I like to delete those users. So I have written a script for that. We I loop six. So nothing I have done. The same the script where has been I have it placed here. The task has been creating a user. The item the state. Will be absent. Okay. The state I declared a uh, state. Okay. Let me execute this script and validate. Yes. Ansible. Python playbook. My play name has been. Uh, Loop six. Okay, I have entered. So oh, the task was oh, I supposed to change there something. Only one change has been made. So one sixty eight. One not one not four. My remote node clear cat slash etc slash pass double d. See, it has been deleted successfully. It's the same script I have made a 
I have not displayed the proper uh, exit. I'm in the remote mode. Yay. So suppose to I write here as a deleting a user. Escape colon. It's supposed to be written here. Deleting the okay. colon here. Let me read on what it happens. Ansible hyphen playbook. Loop six. Okay. The play will be executed, but with no change. Okay. So to make the effective changes, I like to show on this because it's already deleted. That is the reason. It got it showing as in green. Okay, clear. I like to move on another example. VI loop seven. So here, what I have done, I have done creating the same user. OK, I have with the diction I have been used. So here the key value, the name I have recalled the key value key dot item dot key. OK. Here with diction that test I'm going to create a user test 11. The full name has been Mojis of Instituto Mojis and then for this user MJIT. OK, let us validate escape. Colon. Ensemble. A fun play. Loop seven. Okay. So my script has been executed. Yes, it got uh, successfully with the, the user test eleven value the full name is Mohajos and then test 12 user has been MJ80. Let me validate as such hyphen sorry 192.168.104 sorry. Okay. So at slash slash pause double D. With the name it got created Mahajus and then test well MJT it got been created. Clear. So I like to uh, run the script loop eight. Let me take you through. Sorry. Hmm. Slash. So I'm in sorry remote mode. Oh God. Here I'll keep forgetting this. I'll keep making the mis mistake. Uh, city slash. City slash ensemble directory. I have my script. So we I loop. Right. Okay. Just the same. What I did. How to make effective to delete the commands I have given. Where you can want to use some temporary users, you can make use of this and then delete instead of you just pass the pass the play and then you can delete the user. And sample if and play book.
OK. This, this these are you going to be used item dictionaries. You can make use of this script. OK, which got deleted now. Clear. OK. Uh, that's all about the day. Uh, about the lab hands on. I like to summarize uh, what we have gone through today. Today, what I like to summarize today, um, the looping we have seen, and then within the item, how we are going to be seen within the dictionary and then sub elements together, sequence everything we have seen today. So, if we have any doubts, Please do post in our comment section. Do support us, like, share our video. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for that. Please stay tuned until the next video release. Thank you.